What is up cadets? So we're on the fourth installment on how to play Star Atlas. And this one is what I feel like is a super important video to watch. I wish I had a video like this when I first started collecting ships within Star Atlas. We are gonna peruse the marketplace. It can feel kind of daunting. So let's kind of figure out how to navigate through it. Let's do it. Let's go. What is up, Muds, Onis, and Oosters? I believe I can say that now to you if you guys watched my very last video and you guys chose a faction, so congratulations if you did. All right, so this is the Star Atlas Marketplace. We are starting off right here on the homepage, but before we start to navigate through it, I just wanna recommend this one thing to you guys. If you click on any one of my videos, right, and you go down to the descriptions within the videos, I put this in all my videos, it's my Star Path link, it will give you 10% off on any primary sales within the store. So anytime you go to the marketplace, if you navigate it from this right here and you click on it, that's all you have to do. And then if you buy something with from the basically anything within the store, if you buy one little tiny thing, it links your wallet to my star path link. And for three months, you'll get 10% off on any primary sales. This doesn't include any peer to peer sales, which probably most likely might be your first ever ship but there's going to be a lot more things being offered from star atlas that will give you some perks some new stuff and i'll show you something like that here's a new ship called the opal ray fam and they said it says coming next week which will only be probably a few more days once you watch this video or it might already be out by the time you watch this video but that's a perfect example right there of a ship that you will only be able to buy straight from automata if you choose to do so and you'll get 10 percent off on that ship there's also a bunch of ships throughout this marketplace that do not have any peer-to-peer -peer sales you can only buy it through automata because no one's actually selling any of these ships peer-to-peer -peer. um and also there's certain things such as the graphic novel that if you choose to collect the graphic novel we'll talk about that in a moment that you'd be buying straight from automata so let's just start now that my sales pitch is done let's just start navigating through this marketplace um so when we first get to the page you can click right on play sage labs if you choose to do sh do so it'll bring you right to the sage labs browser game which is what we're going to be talking a lot about in some future videos here right um the next tab over we're still on the home page but there's all these different tabs you can choose from there the next one brings you right to the showroom and um if we click on it what it'll do is actually bring you to the epic game store the same people that make fortnite and you'll have a link to download the showroom game and i'm going to just show you a quick peek of what the showroom looks like just in case you haven't seen it yet this is some footage i took for a video i'm um, about the calico compact hero right here super super fun so if you buy any any of the ships that you buy you will be able to load right here and you'll be able to fly within this game in the unreal engine 5 version of the game this is just kind of like uh it's it, i would essentially say they call it a showroom it's basically just a, a an area where you can test flight your sfts um an offshoot of nfts sfts are what we buy for all our our ships and components and everything like that within the game let's go back to the marketplace though because that's what we're here to talk about so if you do buy a ship and you do want to test it in this marketplace right here, you do need a code at the moment in order to get into the showroom. It's very easy to get an access code. You can go to the Star Atlas Discord and ask pretty much anyone there. They'll direct you who to talk to if no one no one in the Discord right there happens to have a code. A lot of people have some extra codes they can offer out. Um, also, you can reach out in any of the comments and any of the posts on the Star Atlas um, Twitter page. You can like even like this one right here. You can go and try to make a comment on there and say, hey, can I please have an access code? Uh, the Star Atlas team or it, everyone in the team and who, whoever is running the Star Atlas page, they're all super, super nice and they'll help you out for sure. Or at least direct you to where to go in the Discord. Um, so that is the showroom. Let's go over to the next tab right here. It brings you to the Star Atlas graphic novel. I'm going to pause on this because we're going to talk about it when we go down the side tabs um, a little bit more, but there is a fantastic graphic novel that Star Atlas is writing. It's telling you all about the lore of Star Atlas preceding where we're playing. So leading up to the point of uh, the year that we're playing, it's kind of giving you a gist of what's going on in the graphic novel. The artwork is fantastic. The writing is fantastic. Everything about it is fantastic. We'll talk about more about that in a second. This right here will bring you to a, um, this is a social campaign that um, Star Atlas is offering by um, doing like going through these um, quests um, 
see it says right here a company of quick-witted punab cast away sand on missions to retrieve his mysterious lost memories so what you do is you basically following through this really cool lore about this one character right here who is um one of the oni race one of the oni faction races called punabs he lost his memories you're basically helping him find his memories by doing all these um uh, doing all these little quests that Star Atlas is giving you out. If you keep on doing a whole bunch of the quests, you actually earn yourself some rewards. And some of those rewards are either ship skins or, or skins for your character. You actually get a, um, a version of sand to actually play within the Unreal Engine 5, which is pretty cool. Um, a whole bunch of other stuff. So you can actually jump into um, starting a quest and never alone. And if you go way back in some of my videos, I actually do some videos on how to actually play the Never, never Alone campaign. Um, the next one right here is faction claims. It's enlisting faction claims. Um, I'll go into that in a second. And the last place is visit the marketplace, which we are um, essentially already at. But the marketplace is where you buy everything on this this one tab further down. Um, so that's the home screen, right? Let's go one tab down on the side over here, and it's the leaderboards. Now we were in this tab um, when I was talking about choosing a faction. We already went through this whole page right here, so I'm not gonna for brevity. I'm just gonna skip over that. You can watch my last video if you haven't yet. This one is coming soon. This is all going to be about guilds, I believe. Um, this is where um, the guilds can all communicate to each other or a guild can communicate to their own guild members. And finally, players, it's the last tab on the top right here. Players is, is basically the leaderboard of everyone who owns a wallet within Star Atlas. And you can see the total asset value of the top player right here is $489,773. Um, in USDC, which USDC is a stable coin for United States dollar, so it's the equivalent to one American dollar. Um, he's from the Mud Faction. The next one down is from the Ooster Faction, very, very, very close to the top wallet right there. Um, but because blockchain is completely transparent, you can actually click on any of their wallets and see all their assets within their wallets. It's one of the coolest thing about blockchain technology. Is let's go down to the shopping cart. This is the big meat of the marketplace. This is where you buy, trade, sell everything within the marketplace. This is where I want to spend some time going through everything. So I'm just going to go back to that at the very end. I just want to finish going down the side tab right here. So remember, the shopping cart is the main part of the marketplace. Hopefully that you click my star path link before you buy anything within this. And like I said, it'll, and it will give you 10% off for three straight months. All right, so further down. Now this is the inventory section. So if you link one of your, if you link a wallet, if you link your wallet, you'll be able to see everything in your wallet, but you'll see it in the eyes of the world of Star Atlas, basically in the metaverse of Star Atlas. Um, so in this little mud wallet, I have um, I have a poster. Um, posters are pieces of artwork that you will be able to hang within your habitat if you buy a piece of land in Star Atlas, or if you have a ship that's big enough to actually have an art gallery, you'll be able to put your posters within that ship access there's um there's certain um things that you can buy we'll go over that when we go in the marketplace but certain things that give you special perks like vip access ships if i had any ships in this wallet which all my ships are right now um in um sage labs but if i had any ships in this wallet they would show up here structures as i just mentioned habitats um if you own any land or if you by oh, by land i mean that you can buy actually there's three central space stations one for each faction and you can buy land on that faction in the in the form of apartments and buildings um it's it's nothing crazy like some of the other metaverses out there it's actually like pretty mellow but if you own one of these um pieces of land one of these um habitats you will be able to always spawn on one of those uh, central space stations which is pretty cool and then i have a special escape velocity exterior paint right here that i can paint my habitat if i want to um as far as resources this is very important thing that we're going to talk about in this video there there are four resources that you are going to utilize throughout every game in Star Atlas, and we call them the R4, R for resource and four for the amount. Uh, it's ammunition, toolkits, food, and fuel. These are resources in this wallet that I'm keeping in this wallet at the moment. Um, ammunition, obviously, is for your weapons. Toolkits are used for scanning. When you're out, when your ship is out scanning, looking for things, you're going to be utilizing toolkits, at least at this moment in Sage Labs. And toolkits are also used for repairing your ship if you get some damage within the upcoming combat game that's coming up. Food is for feeding the crew within your ship. And fuel, obviously, is the gas that makes your ship go. You know, so every time, anytime you fly your ship, it's going to be burning fuel. Um, in this resource, I happen to have some golden tickets, and the golden tickets are for a raffle that's being offered in Sage Labs. I'll be talking about that way, way further on in a, in a future video. Um, but for now, we can click on the very last tab at the top, and that is story. 
What story would be is if I owned any of those graphic novels, you can collect the covers of the graphic novels. I'll talk about that more when we go down the side tab, but when you collect the covers, they'd appear right here. Uh, the next tab, side tab down is the Sage Lab side tab. It also brings you to Sage Labs, like that one that we saw on the home screen. All right, and the next, well, the next tab down right here is called Faction Fleet. Essentially would put your ships into this score mini game and you'd keep them supplied with the R4 that we mentioned just a few seconds ago. It's the, the fuel, the ammo, the food, and the toolkits. As long as you go back to your ships periodically, some of the some of the smaller ships you would have to go back to daily, and some of the larger ships could go a few more days, but you'd have to constantly keep them supplied with that R4. By doing this, you would earn Atlas, which is the in-game currency. It, it was I really, really enjoyed it because I want all the Atlas I possibly can get. Not financial advice, but I think the Atlas is going to go way, way up in price in the future. So I was very happy while I had all my ships staked in the score minigame right here. I was very happy to get all that free Atlas. Um, you can still still play this. So if you want to buy some ships and you do not want to play the Sage Labs, Sage Labs browser game, you can put your ships right here. You can stake them into the faction fleet and you can earn yourself some free Atlas as long as you supply them with R4. Now we go down to the next one. Next one, it's called Faction Claims. There's Star Atlas has something called claim stakes, which we're going to look in in the marketplace, but claim stakes produce R4. So these claim stakes, if you put them in this section right here called faction claims, they will just start spitting out R4 that we talked about just a few seconds ago, the ammo, fuel, tool, toolkits, and food. And you can actually take that same R4 if you have a claim stake and you can feed your ships that you have staked in the faction fleet. It's kind of a cool little um, gaming loop that you can make and it all gives you and by it basically is essentially giving you free Atlas tokens. I love it. And so now we're on the graphic novel. So the graphic novel is telling you all the lore leading up to the gameplay that we're doing right now. The artwork is great. The artwork is fantastic and the writing is phenomenal. I definitely recommend you reading these and you can read them for free just by hitting this access button right there. It'll take you to the very first episode of, of uh, the graphic novel core. Uh, if you click on the galleries right here, you can see all the covers to all the different episodes that have come out so far. Um, we're basically on the second season of the whole, in, whole entire core saga. Um, you could read the whole entire first season. I believe right now, as of making this video, you can read the first two episodes of that, that second season right there. If you collect basically the covers in the form of NFTs, if you collect, well, I think I believe they call it, they're called SFTs um, that I talked about in the very first video of how to play Star Atlas. If you collect all the covers of Core, you will be given, let me show you, you will be given this really cool um, hardcover graphic novel set. It will be sent right to your house. Uh, it will have all 18 episodes. It will also come with this really cool art book that comes with, with it's a bunch of, I, I believe, like behind the scenes of them coming up with all the characters and stuff like that within the graphic novel. And it'll also have a whole entire really nice printed book of every single one of those covers that they put out that um, that you could buy as SFTs. So the graphic novel is, is definitely worth the read. And if you have an iPhone, um, you can also read the graphic novel right by going to what's it called? iBooks, basically the iPhone version of Kindle. You can read the, uh, the graphic novel for free right through there. Um, and then the, the legal is just basically um, a bunch of legal jargon, obviously. Uh, the next tab down right here is the DAO. Um, just to briefly go over what the DAO is, is if you are investing in Star Atlas's two tokens, they are Polis, which is the governance token, and it is Atlas. You can come to the DAO and you can stake both the Polis and the Atlas within the DAO. If you put Polis in the DAO, it will produce more Polis. So if you have a whole bunch of polis, like I, I don't know how much I have, but I'm producing about, um, I believe, two polis a day um, by staking my polis. And it gives me um, governance voting rights that I could use on all sorts of things that are going to be upcoming in this, the world of Star Atlas, whether it's like how we're going to run the game, what ships we're going to re release next. Um, if we want to fix something that we believe is not going good, people can actually come up with their own things to vote for within the DAO. It's a really, really cool thing. You can read all about it um, on this page right here. Um, if you stake Atlas within the DAO, if you stay, if you have a whole bunch of in-game currency Atlas and you're just holding on to it for investment purposes, you can stake that within the DAO. And if you stake Atlas, you actually are awarded Polis and you can take that Polis, you're, you're rewarded and you can put the Polis in and stake that and earn more Polis. Um, I have both a bunch of Atlas and Polis in my wallet, both staked in the DAO, and I'm very excited to be earning more Polis because I believe Polis is going to be worth a lot in the future. Not financial advice, do your own research, please. 
Okay, let's go back to the marketplace. So that was the DAO. The next one down is your profile. The pro, um, I'm not gonna click on the profile. I tend to like to keep that private and then connecting your wallet at the very bottom. If you didn't, if you didn't hit one of those connect a wallet tabs, it, you can connect it right there at the very beginning. Um, so let's go to the marketplace. This is the meat and potatoes that I was talking about earlier. So we're at the very beginning of it. So this is the featured items that maybe the Star Atlas Automata team is, are, is trying to sell at the moment. Um, right here, right further down are um, some ships. This changes, I, feel, I believe it change, maybe changes daily or weekly that they throw, throw a bunch of different kind of ships just to catch your eye. We go down further, it's all the different resources you can buy. And there's the that R4, the very important R4 that I talked about earlier. Collectibles are all sorts of things like the poster art I was talking about that you'll be able to possibly hang in your habitat or your ship. Those are all, those are very collectible and there's skins and there's a pet, one pet offered right now. Um, a bunch of things like that. This is the access I was talking about by, by holding one of these in your wallet. Some of these things are going to give you um, special access to certain events in the future. Um, the, a lot of this access was rewarded to very early players for doing certain things or buying certain ships or having a bunch of certain items within their wallet. Um, structures. I mentioned claim stakes before that produce R4. This is a huge loop that's going to be coming out in the future. It's going to will be coming out in the whole entire Sage game sometime in the future. I don't believe it's, I think, I believe combat's going to be coming out first, and then we're going to be implementing these claim stakes and a mining drill and space stations, power plants, all sorts of stuff. We can click on more of those. Um, at the very bottom is the graphic novels, and you can collect those covers, like I said, and the more covers you collect, um, I believe if you collect all one season, you can get just that one season as a graphic novel. And if you collect all the covers all together, you can get that hard hardbound um, box set that I was talking about. Okay. So let's just go down the side tab within the marketplace. So here's ships. Um, this looks very different. Mobile, mobiles um, doesn't. It's a little, little bit harder to navigate. But I bought almost all my ships through the mobile, so it's, it's. You can do it once you know this. You know, watch this video. You'll be able to figure out like your mobile device um, on the marketplace. But here is all the different um, ships you can buy. Um, there's different classes we're going to talk about in the next video, going from extra small to all the way up to Titan. The price is very all over the place. Um, so I'm just going to click on some extra smalls and these are the five extra smalls that are offered at the moment. Star Atlas is constantly coming out with more ships. And like I said, please link your wallet to my star pass just in case they come out with a new ship that you want to buy. You'll get that 10% off. Um, but let's just click on an Opal jet because I just want to go over the ordering process right here. So these are the sellers of the Opal jet and these are the buyers. There at the moment, if there was, if Star Atlas Automata was actually selling any of these Opal Jets that are all sold out at the moment, they'd be at the very, very top. Let's see if we can find one that Star Atlas is selling. All right, here's a good example of that, the, the Visus Solos. So right here, this is from the actual team of Star Atlas, the Automata team, and their origina origination price was $20. Right now, because all cryptocurrency in general has come down and um, due to a bear market. So there's some really good deals on buying ships. These good deals are done peer to peer. So these are other people in the um, Star Atlas community that are selling the same Visa Solos that was originally bought for $20. They're selling it at this fantastic discount of $6 and 20 cents. Um, these are people putting in a bid down here on buyers. These people are putting in a bid to try to buy a cheaper version of that Visa Solo. So this guy right here, this top guy is he's willing to buy one for five dollars and fifty four cents. No one's willing to sell one at the moment, but they are willing to sell one for six dollars and twenty cents. So if you want to be patient, you can put a bid in to buy one. And if you want to just buy one directly, you can click on any of these sellers. I'm just going to click on one for a sec. You can connect your wallet like that. And you can buy, I don't have enough um, USDC to buy one. We will buy a ship um, in two videos from now. We're going to buy a ship together. Um, but that's how you would buy a ship. So that's what that's all about. Um, create If you create an order, this is how this this button right here is how you would put in a bid to be a buyer. Um, if you click on item details, now this is very, very important. If you click on item details on any of this these ships, it gives you a nice little description of this Visa Solos. It gives you a whole bunch of more pictures. This is all concept art. Um, this isn't what it actually truly looks like in the showroom, but this vehicle is available to actually fly in the showroom. But this is where before they actually even modeled it in the showroom. This is what the concept um, art looked like. So there's concept art for all the ships right here. And then this tells you a whole bunch of information about the ship. The details, this is uh, um, Visus is the make. So it's actually, this is, um, this is made by the Oosters. 
um we'll go over that in the next video um the model is the solos it's a common um it tells you that it's a racer show what class it is it's extra small um it gives you the size it tells you how, how much crew you're gonna get this is an extra small ship you only get one one crew which is a pilot um it tells you all about the components we're gonna go over that in the, ne in the very next video i make um and the modules and stuff like that so let's go let's just go back here for a sec we'll go back one click um i just want to just show you the difference um we're not going to go all the way up to a uh, titan those ships are crazy we'll click on a capital ship it's it's a little less there's, there's these are still crazy ships there's the crazy expensive ships i i love them though they're um these ships are a lot different in price um let's click on this armstrong imp now here's a good example um because we're on my wallet you can see that you're going to get yourself 10 percent off if you buy this armstrong imp there is zero sellers for this armstrong imp um but you will get yourself 10 percent off and if you have a wallet to do so this is a fantastic mining ship it's one of the newer ships that um star atlas has offered but this game would be pimp if you were playing it in sage labs but this is just a good example if you're paying thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty dollars for a ship you definitely want to get 10 percent off of that that's a lot of dough that you're going to save right um so in this case you can only buy it from automata but you could put a bid in and maybe someone already bought one of these ships they're using it in sage labs they just decided they didn't really want like sage labs too much and they might want to sell it in the in the future and so you can just put a bid if you want to be patient this guy has a bid out for eight thousand dollars and he's hoping to um that someone might um fill his bid right there let's get out of ships for a second close out all those menus and let's get into resources so originally we had that r4 that we talked about before but these are all the different resources offered and this is only just recently so once sage labs came out we started to have the opportunity to mine a certain amount of raw resources once we got those raw resources we can start crafting them further and further into more complicated components all those components can then be sold on the star atlas marketplace for usdc at the moment and for atlas you can choose one or the other um, I believe they're going to kind of phase out the USDC and it's only going to be Atlas, the in-game currency that you can actually um, purchase these items in or sell the uh, sell these items for. Um, but the Atlas can be easily converted into soul using your um, phantom wallet. And just real fast, because on that episode where we created a wallet, I didn't show you actually how to swap around currencies. Um, we're just going to click on those two arrows that go two different directions right here. And what we're going to do is I had a little bit of Atlas in my wallet right here. We're going to click on the Atlas and we're going to turn it into Solana that you can then send to an exchange, almost any exchange except Solana, and then turn that back into the currency of your country, right? So if I do, let's see, 1200 Atlas, you can see that it'll turn it into 0 0.06 Solana. I, if I hit review order and then hit accept, it'll turn it into that Solana that I can then send to an exchange and sell it very, very easily. But let's go to collectibles right here. So collectibles are anything um, from skins to posters to emotes, stuff that you kind of buy on um, get you know in something like a game. Mo most um, online games right now, you know anything from Fortnite to um, Call of Duty type games. Um, but you can collect all these different things here. Most of these things right now are peer to peer because most of these thing these skins were actually given out as awards um, for for holding certain things in Star Atlas or doing certain things in Star Atlas um throughout the past two years um i do own a tigu i'm really excited on a tigu this is the one and only pet so far in star atlas by holding on to a tigu and putting it in one of your ships it gives you actually it's going to give you some some perks in the future um so those are collectibles you can peruse through all of those let's go down to structures so structures right now so there's a whole other than owning ships in the game there's a whole other department and that is it's it's almost like a, um it's you can look at it as the land aspect of the game so these are the claim stakes i had mentioned they are in um, faction claims by holding on to these and putting them into faction claims they will be producing that r4 which are which is very important to um, have your ship actually be progressive in any of the games in star atlas in the future um, there's these different crafting stations so what's really cool in the game of star atlas is you're going to be able to go out there and look for certain resources and mine certain resources and you'll be able to actually craft yourself some more ships this will also not only be in the sage version of the um, star atlas games but it will be in the unreal engine 5 versions too it's going to be a really fun thing in unreal engine 5 i think to be going out to certain planets looking for certain um craftable elements and um, bringing them back to a space station and having one of these crafting tables basically these crafting stations on there and getting yourself some free planes 
Um, these are the um, different tiers of land that you can own on the um, space station that I had mentioned earlier. Uh, they get very, very expensive as they go up. Um, I own I own just the base tiers, which are basically like little mini apartments, but um, tier one would be like a tiny little house. Tier two, your house gets a little big, bigger, but look at like tier five. Oh my gosh, you basically own a castle. I'm thinking that the only type person that would ever buy something like this would be some type of corporation. Um, let's say that Atari wants to do a partnership or something like that with uh, Star Atlas. They can buy this $1 million, 700,000 um, tier five, but they can set up a giant store on one of the central space stations where um, all of us players can walk around like we do in, uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto or something like that. And we can go into the Atari habitat and we'll be able to play all sorts of Atari games. They could do a bunch of advertisement or let's say Disney or something like that buys one of these giant things on one of the central space stations they can advertise all their movies and all their gear and stuff like that so um but anyway so there's obviously there's a lot cheaper one like the base tiers i think i bought are like around 30 dollars or something like that so you don't have to spend a million dollars to own land in star atlas um like i said that, that's the highest up right there now um those claim stakes i was talking about in the future what we're going to be doing is as we discover certain planets we're going to be implementing those claim stakes as like basically claiming a piece of land and once we claim a piece of land, we can actually start setting up different equipment to start mining that land. And um, so they're offering a few things right now, such as a mining drill. We'll have to give power to the mining drill by having a power plant. You can have a space station on top of the on top of the planet where um, basically the space station will be. I don't know if it's going to like tractor beam all the mining stuff up to the space station where you can grab everything that you're mining from your um, from your ships and then you can bring it out to the CSS. Or um, I grabbed a space station because they weren't too much money and I just and they look huge when you actually click on them and I was like oh my gosh it was only like eight bucks at the time um oh now it's up to like eighteen dollars um but but you can see how big that they they look like. let me just zoom in on this they look huge I was like oh for eight bucks I'll, I'll grab one of those so this was only video four out of 15. I'm sorry it was so long, but there is a lot, a lot of, of depth within this marketplace. There was a lot of things that we had to talk about. Um, please like if you haven't liked, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed so we can go through all this other stuff and play Sage Labs in the future. I hope you're enjoying this series. I hope that this has been very, very helpful. Please use my Star Path link if you can. Not only does it help you out, it actually helps this channel out a little bit by clicking on that. And I'm so appreciative. Um, I love you guys all. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you in the next one. Later.